What's up guys, it's your boy Erfan, welcome back to another video. Today I'm here with one of my good friends, Hannah, and we're actually going to talk about general chemistry. Um, it's a series you got to take uh, freshman year, uh, chemistry based, three classes, and we're going to give you tips. So it's going to be five tips, important tips. If you do these tips, I'm sure you're going to get a very solid grade, and if you put in the time, you're going to maybe get that A+. So let's get right into it. So tip number one, um, it's actually a very easy one. Just go to lecture. Um, don't skip any lectures. I'm sure a lot of freshmen actually do this because um, like, I was friends with some of them. No, I was. <laughs> Unfortunately, yes, Hannah missed a couple of lectures. But the problem is missing a couple of lectures will equal to a lot of information you missed and it's kind of hard to go back on them. So it's very beneficial to go um, to every lecture, write your well notes, and then yeah, go from there. Do you have any tips? Yeah, even if you think that you know what they're going to be going over in lecture, um, it's much better to have them explain it to you than trying to teach it to yourself. Yep, yeah. exactly. I have to really teach Hannah all the time. Stop. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so tip number two. Um, Hannah, you want to say what's tip number two? Yeah, reread and rewrite all of your notes from lecture. Exactly. Um, yeah, when you rewrite them, you learn them again, and it's, yeah, I think that's the most beneficial step. Yeah, personally. so basically, we don't say rewrite or reread all your notes the day before final or midterm because that's going to be <laughs> huge. You don't have that much time. So rewrite your notes, maybe. A lot of people think this is like, crazy idea to rewrite your notes but it actually helps you um, so it's beneficial to do it if you don't want to do it just reread your notes before lecture um, I think that rereading your notes kind of is very beneficial because like you go over the stuff again and again and again so you don't have to learn all the information again the day before your midterm or final yeah and especially in Gen Chem everything builds upon itself so you need to be really solid with the lecture before and all of that information before you can be prepared to go into the next lecture. Exactly. So tip number three is CLAS. Um, basically, it's a tutoring class that you can sign up on Google. I think it's uh, type in CLAS homepage or something and then it will mm -hmm. pop up. Uh, so basically CLAS is very beneficial for general chemistry because you have your own set of tutors that can help you out. You have drop-in hours, you have your own classes that you can go to. They technically go over the lecture or maybe go ahead of the lecture, so it's kind of nice to know what's going on and seeing it twice. Um, it ha really helped me. I'm sure it's going to help others. And yeah, so. Yeah, it's really nice because your lecture will probably be a couple hundred kids, and this is more of like a high school size class. It's like 30 ish people. And you can ask, they're like a TA, they know their stuff, they're really, really good at explaining things. You can ask them personal questions if you're too scared to ask in lecture in front of everyone or if your professor is kind of intimidating. So this is really, really helpful. Yeah, exactly. Shout out to my boy Eric, the best <laughs> CLAS guy. Okay, so tip number four. So this is the most important one out of all of them, I think. Um, it's doing the practice exams or like quizzes. It's basically a lot of professors at UCSB will give you their old um, test exams. So they give you like um, previous years, uh, midterms or finals. And this is very beneficial to do because it's their sets of questions. You don't have, I mean, it's very beneficial to do book problems, but um, I think tests like practice tests are way more important because the book problems are written by the people that wrote the book, but the test problems are basically the professor's problem so look, basically you're practicing for their test yeah and so. professors are kind of lazy they often like to reuse test questions so if you know all the test questions on the online ones then you'll probably recognize a couple on your actual exam exactly so do the test problems uh, and the tips I said before this and you should be good so tip number five is Alex, you should do yes. your homework and when you're doing your online questions, star the ones that you have trouble with and like that are really difficult. Go back before exams and redo those ones because honestly, professors like to get kind of creative and if you can do the hardest ones in the homework, they can do the hardest ones in the test. Exactly. So yes, the concept on the Alex problems are basically the concepts that are going to be on your test. So knowing the Alex problems will definitely help you out. Uh, it's not just homework. I remember like a lot of students just 
finish the homework and they say I'm done. But uh, the key to success in university is that studying your homework because there is yeah. a reason behind that homework that the professor gave you. So mm -hmm. I think these are all the tips for Gen Chem. Um, honestly, like I wish you guys the best for general chemistry. Uh, we finished general chemistry. It was honestly challenging. It's yeah. not. It's not easy. So like. Um, I took AP Chem, so I, th I thought I was going to be prepared, but definitely it's not something easy to go into. So you got to practice a lot, uh, put in a lot of time, and go to lib. We don't say library <laughs> over here, we want to keep oh it cool, God. so you got to say lib. <laughs> so general chemistry, I hope you guys do well in it. Um, we wish yeah. you guys the best, and thank you guys for watching. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video.